Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 12 in Azure Data Factory Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to copy the last modified file of EDLS folder using Azure Data Factory. So let's see the requirement in details. So you can see inside our ADLS folder, we have few CSV files. The last modified dates for each file is different. So we need to get the latest file which is present in the ADLS folder, which means the file which has been modified at the most recent time. So if you see manually, uh, this file has been modified on 12th July. The second file also got modified in the same day, but there is some difference in the minutes. Okay. Now coming to the third file, it got modified on 3rd of September. Okay. And similarly, fourth file got modified on 12th July, fifth file got modified on 23rd July. So if you compare manually, this is the file which has been most recently modified. Okay. So we need to build a mechanism to find out this file name and after fetching the file name, we need to copy this file to another ADLS location, okay, in another folder. So how to do that using ADF? So let me go to Azure portal and let me first show you this folder called demo folder where I have these five files, okay, out of which I need to get the latest file that is the last modified file. So this is the one. So let me go to ADF portal and let me start creating the pipeline to fetch the last modified file. So first of all, what we will do is we will create a variable that will hold the last modified file name. Okay. So let me give the name as latest file. Okay. And also we will create another variable that will hold a reference date value. Okay, so let me name it as reference date time and we will use this variable to compare the last modified date of each and every file. Okay, so let me give a default value for this variable as suppose 1900.0101 and let me give the time as 0 hours, 0 minutes and 0 seconds. Okay, so while creating the pipeline we will make use of these variables. So don't worry about it. Now, first of all, let me try to get the file names present in this folder. Okay. So to do that, let me use get metadata activity. We have done this in our previous videos also. So let me create a data set that will point to demo folder. So let me select CSV format. Let me select ADLS linked service. And here, let me select demo folder. Okay. And let me remove this import schema. And now let me add child items in the field list option. Now let me debug here so that we will be able to get the file names present in demo folder. Okay. So the pipeline is completed. Now if I check the output, you can see all the file names present in the demo folder are coming correctly. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to iterate through each of these files using for each activity so that we can get the last modified value for each of these files. Okay. So let me use for each activity here. Let me connect these two activities and here let me use the output of get metadata activity as the items in for each activity so that we can iterate through each of the file names. So we are declaring this child item array as the items in for each and each of these uh, JSON value will be treated as each item okay so if we give item dot name then it will hold this value for one iteration similarly for other iteration it will have this value and so on okay so let me go inside this for each and now as as i told we have to get the last modified value or last modified time for each of the files so for that let me again use get metadata activity so here, let me create a data set that will be pointing to each of the files dynamically. So let me select CSV and here, let me go to the demo folder. And for the file name, we will create parameter to make it dynamic. 
So let me remove the import scheme option and let me reopen this data set and in the parameters let me create a parameter called file name that we will use it to make the param um, to make the data set dynamic okay and here we need to pass the value for this parameter that we created so the file name would be nothing but item dot name so let me give item dot name as the file name value and in the field list let me select last modified which will give us each of the modified date time value for each iteration and also let me select item name that will give the name of each of these files okay now let me debug this pipeline till this point so that we can understand what's going on in the background let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed you can see five get metadata to activity is currently running in progress so the pipeline execution is completed and each of these metadata activities is giving us the output as last modified date time and item name okay for each of the files so we are good here now let me go inside this for each and now whatever value this get metadata to is giving we will compare it with the reference date time that we have created okay so to do that let me use if block or if activity so now in this if condition what we are going to do is we are going to compare the last modified value of each and every file with the current value present in the reference date time variable okay so let me write down the expression we will use the greater function and we will compare the output coming from get metadata to last modified value and we will compare it with the variable reference date time okay so if this value is greater then we will assign this value to this variable okay so to do that let me go inside true block and here we will use set variable activity and we will update reference read time variable to the new value that is output of get metadata 2 that is holding the last modified value okay so i hope it is making sense and also at the same time we will update the latest file variable to the name that is coming out of get metadata to activity okay so we will make use of item name okay as item name is the property which is holding the file name okay let me show you that you can see output of get metadata to item name is the value uh, is the property that is holding file name and last modified is the property that is holding the timestamp value okay so we are good here let me debug till this point to check if the variable value is holding the correct data or not so let's wait for the pipeline execution yeah so the pipeline execution is completed now if i check set variable to activity output you can see the latest file is coming as accessories sales.csv and if i see set variable one output it is the last modified value of this file okay so it is what the expected outcome is now we want to load this file into another folder so to do that let me use copy activity after this for each and let me join these two activities and here in the source data set let me use the same data set that we have parameterized so let me select that and in the value we will pass the variable value uh, that means the latest file variable okay so let me go back and here we will pass the variable that is holding the latest file value okay so let me click on this add dynamic content and in the variables let me select the latest file variable okay and in the sync let me create a new data set that will be pointing to our output folder okay so let me select the linked service and let me create a new folder called output folder and in the file name we will again parameterize it to make it same name as the source data set name okay so let me create the parameter called file name and in the connection let me make use of that parameter and we will provide value to the parameter that is this variable again okay now let me debug it 
and let me go to the containers. So, currently we do not have any folder called output folder. So, let us wait for this completion, so that we can see if the correct file gets copied or not. Okay. So, you can see set variable 2 will should give us the latest file that is accessory sales dot csv and the same should be copied to output folder. So, our pipeline execution is completed. Now, let me go back to ADLS and let me hit on refresh. So, you can see this output folder got newly generated and inside this. So, as we expected accessories sales dot csv has got copied okay, which is the latest file present in demo folder as you can see this is the most recent file. So, we have achieved our requirement let me go back to presentation. So, that is it for this video guys I hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and also please hit on bell icon to get notification whenever I add videos.